Welcome to my friends and colleagues and loyal subscribers of Urology Coding Alert. I'm Dr. Ferragamo and I will be your presenter for this webinar. Let's go to page one, which we have on the screen, or you should have on your screen, for the topic, and this is going to be correct coding for Eurodynamics in 2021. Let's go to page two. Let's look at Office Eurodynamics. Office Eurodynamics may be cost effective when, when done in the office, but you may have a capital outlay to buy the new equipment available for Eurodynamics, and that may cost you anywhere from fifteen to thirty thousand dollars. However, it is estimated that you will have a return on investment in six to twelve months, depending upon how often you do the Eurodynamic studies. Now, the Eurodynamic studies can be performed by physicians or by trained ancillary personnel, although there is some, some state restrictions. And then, of course, of course, it is important that you have to ask yourself, are Eurodynamic studies clinically useful for me in patient management? Let's go to page three. Eurodynamics may be performed by many, but this may vary by the state. Eurodynamics may be performed by a physician, such as a urologist, urogynecologist, pediatric urologist, by non-physician providers, such as a PA, a nurse practitioner, and a clinical nurse, uh, uh, sur a clinical nurse uh, surgical. It can be performed by trained registered nurses, by a trained licensed practical nurse, and it also may, you may also, the Eurodynamics may be performed by a medical assistant or technician, although there is some, there is some variation and a medical assistant or technician will not be paid for doing a Eurodynamic study in certain states such as New York, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. Let's go now to page four. Now, in New York State, uh, where I'm speaking to you from, uh, Eurodynamics may be done by a trained registered nurse, by a trained licensed practical nurse, but you will not be paid, and a medical assistant or medical te technician should not do the Eurodynamic studies. So, to be, to be uh, careful in when you're billing for these studies, you should check with your individual carrier as to who and as to who may perform Eurodynamic studies. Let's go to page five. Now where may these studies be performed, Eurodynamic studies? They may be performed in the office, in a hospital, uh, outpatient 19 off campus, 21 in the hospital, 22 uh, on campus, outpatient at the emergency room. Eurodynamics may be performed in a rehabilitation facility, inpatient, place of service 61, outpatient rehabilitation facility, place of service 62, in a nursing home, in a skilled nursing facility, and in an ambulatory surgical center, place of service 24. Now remember that for physician payment outside of the office, to receive payment for the Eurodynamic study, you must add modifier 26 to each Eurodynamic CPT code. Let's go to page uh, six. Let's go to page six. Let's look at some revisions for Eurodynamics. When an individual only interprets the results of a study and or operates the equipment, a professional component modifier 26 should be used to identify these services. Let's go to page, let's go to page seven. Now for a patient from a skilled nursing facility who is seen in the office coming from a skilled nursing facility and having a Eurodynamic study in your office for Eurodynamic 
reimbursement code, all the Eurodynamic studies with modifier 26. Let's go to page 8, Eurodynamics. The CPC section of codes 51725 to 51798 lists the various Eurodynamic procedures that may be used separately or in many and varied specific combinations. Let's go to page 9. Now, all Eurodynamic procedures can be performed, as we saw on a previous slide, by or under the direct supervision of a physician or under the direct supervision of other qualified healthcare professionals such as non-provider practitioners or, the, or, or, or an NP or PA. Let's go to page 10. Now, remember that all instruments, equipment, fluids, gases, probes, catheters, medication, gloves, trays, tubing, and other sterile supplies are provided by the individual that is doing the study. And there should be no charge, and this should be without charge or without use of any CPT or HIPAA codes for those supplies. Let's go to page 11. Let's look at some Eurodynamic rules for, for non-physician provider uh, providing the doing or performing the Eurodynamic study in 2021. Now, if an NPP, a non-physician provider, performs or supervises an office Eurodynamic study without a physician, without a physician supervision, he will bill using both modifiers. He will bill the TC modifier for the performance of the studies and he will get 100% global fee payments. And he will also bill for the interpretation of the professional component adding modifier 26 to each of the Eurodynamic studies. And for this, he will receive 85% of the global fee payments. Let's look at page 12. Now, when a urologist in the office is providing supervision and an MPP is performing the technical portion of a urodynamic study under the supervision of the urologist in the office, and the urologist also interprets the study on the same day, these urodynamic studies are billed only in the urologist's number, name, and MPI number with payments at 100% of the global fee without having to use modifiers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, participants, for this technical session for today. Thank you so much for joining today's webinar, Michael. Have a great day.